Wild pigs are around you. They will attack you. They destroy crops, threaten and kill other animals. So how can the attack of wild pigs be prevented? Follow us on this video. With the range of wild boar extending to 30 of the 50 states of the United States. They can be hunted in a variety of ways. With a gun is considered is the most effective strategy to get rid of them. However, if you want to hunt pigs within range from all over the region, there will be a shotgun that is just right for you. First of all, when it comes to this wild boar problem, the bison has plagued Texas homes and farms for years, especially caused property damage during grass growth and property damage of some farms. This video captures the mass destruction of wild boar because of the mass destruction of wild ecosystems in Texas. Since it's not hard to hunt wild or in Texas, when state policies have made hog hunting as easy as possible. Wild boar hunting is the best when it's dark. It's fun to store them from a farm. It's not easy for wild pigs to get out of gun sight. Wild boar accident, did you know that not everyone is so lucky with pigs on the road? There are approximately tens of thousands of accidents involving wild pigs each year. And wild bull territory accounts for about 40%. Therefore, hunting a wild boar is impossible without thinking about it. Because these wild boars have a very thick skin and very tough flesh. That's why headshots are more critical than chest parts. Because they're more likely to cause immediate unconsciousness. Shot in the chest does not cause a momentary loss of sensation. That's exactly what professional hunters know to come up with a more lethal attack. If you are not an experienced hunter, you need to know the importance of teamwork. There can be danger, but you accidentally miss and you aim directly nearby. So needing a teammate to support you as a power and running speed of a wild boar is something you want looking forward. I am choosing the best gun for wild boar hunting. Your success rate will be higher if you follow them in a helicopter or you use sniffer dogs to chase wild pigs. Because this video shows two men leading their dogs to sniff the wild pigs for a moment. The farmer was able to approach wild pigs and shoot them in the head. Hunting wild pigs with guns can help growers and breeders feel safe and actively cultivate in this area. Our video ends here. 
How do you feel about this video? Let us know by commenting below. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button to support us and have all the motivation to make more great videos. Now they are fine. And see you for more videos. Hello, dear friends. As you all know, Iowa is a state in the Midwest of the United States with an area of about 35.8 million acres. Of that, 31.3 million acres of land in the state is used for agricultural production. For many years, Iowa has always been one of the states with the highest agriculture. Domestic sales are second only to California in 2021. Total agricultural revenue of $26.4 billion, less than half that of California. According to USDA statistics, as of mid-2022, there are about 85,000 active farms in Iowa, and the average size of a farm in this state is about 345 acres. Currently, the farm's activities in Iowa are mainly corn, soybeans, oats, raising pigs and dairy cows. Production, in addition to agriculture in Iowa, is also known for its extensive apple and cherry farms. Each year, tens of thousands of ranches in Iowa provide full-time and part-time employment to about 801,000 workers, and the state's agricultural workforce makes up about 4.5% of the population. We are currently on a pig farm in Washington County in southwestern Iowa. It is home to 115 num, and every year about 2,000 piglets are born on this farm. At this farm, hundreds of piglets will be exclusively breastfed for a month before they are fed food. In recent years, Iowa has consistently been the state with the largest number of pigs in the country, with about 24 million pigs. They are distributed on 5,418 farms. Second on this list is Minnesota, with about 8.7 million pigs. When the piglets are five weeks old, they will be fed high nutrient foods such as piglet bran, barley, and corn. And this will be maintained for about a month before they are separated for fattening. Here are hundreds of three-month-old pigs on a farm in Hamilton County, eastern Iowa. The pig's just been separated from the mother pig and will begin to enter the fattening stage. Currently, most large farms in Iowa have between 300 to 5,000 heads of large-scale pig farms with a population of more than 5,000, representing only 20%. The state hog farm at Iowa, Hog Farm Pigs, is deemed eligible for harvest. When they are six to seven months old, and weigh between 150 and 190 pounds, they are ready to go to the processing plant. This definitely happens. The pigs will be transported by large trucks one by one, which will be their last trip. According to the 2021 census in the United States, there are about 2,780 active pork production facilities and 1,106 pigs are slaughtered every hour across the country. Annually, 
the number of pigs slaughtered across the country ranges from 127 to 130 million heads. In addition to modern pig farms, there are dozens of free-range pig farms in Iowa. However, this is usually a small scale. Farms that are considered cattle are only a few dozen. Now we're going to the cattle ranches in Iowa to see how raising millions of cattle happens, unlike the herds of Texas or Nebraska. Most cattle in Iowa are raised on factory farms and rarely graze in large pastures. In recent years, most cattle in Iowa have been purchased from cattle ranchers in other states. Hundreds of these calves are preparing to be shipped to cattle ranchers in Iowa. According to USDA statistics as of June 2022, there are about 19,000 active ranchers in Iowa, and the number of cattle in the state is only 3.85 million heads. This is a cattle ranch in Ringgold County of Southern Iowa, and all livestock here are raised for meat purposes. Every day the workers on this farm will provide food and water for the cattle instead of taking them to the vast grasslands. Cattle raised on the farm have meat quality not as high as those raised in the wild. According to the 2021 census, the modern industry in Iowa typically provides about 17,000 jobs and the value of livestock to the state is about $4.1 billion. This is a cattle ranch in Sioux County, south of Iowa, where hundreds of cattle live mainly on ranches. Their lives live in stables or concentrated barns. They will be flocked to pasture about twice a week, and this interval should not last more than three hours. When they mature, they will also be taken to the slaughterhouse for meat. In 2021, about 895,000 beef cattle were slaughtered in Iowa, and the state's beef production of about 667 million pounds ranks 12th nationally for beef production. See here, you also know a lot about the method of raising cows, right? If you love this job and want to learn them, then watch our videos. Next, we will go to the fields of western Iowa to see how artichokes are grown and harvested. June to August is usually a good time to start the artichoke growing process. In the fields of Iowa, according to USDA statistics, in 2021, there are five artichoke farm operations in Iowa. The area planted to artichokes in the state is about 27 acres, representing 1% of the area planted to this plant in the country. Currently, most artichoke varieties grown in the United States require about 160 to 180 days to qualify for harvest. This is what happens in the artichoke fields in Iowa when the harvest season begins. Dozens of Myra workers will cut the artichoke buds and pack them. According to the 2021 statistics, the production of artichokes in Iowa is about 189,000 pounds. While the production of artichokes in the state of California amounts to 87 million pounds, accounting for 96% of the national production.
At some farms, thousands of artichoke buds are packed by the U.S. in the field before being transported to the supermarket. In addition, large quantities of artichokes will also be sent to factories to be processed into other products such as beverages or pharmaceuticals. Talking about Iowa agriculture, we can't help but mention the vast cornfield because this is considered a symbol of the state's agricultural industry. For about 20 years, Iowa has always been the nation's leading state in corn production. According to statistics in 2021, up to 13.3 million acres of farmland in Iowa will be used to grow corn, and the harvest in the state is about 2.4 billion bushels, representing 16 of the national production. Not only famous for its vast cornfields, Iowa is always mentioned when we talk about soybean production in the United States. Currently, 10 million acres of farmland are used to grow soybeans in the state, and Iowa soybean production is 631 million bushels, representing 14% of national production in recent years. Land in Iowa always occupies between 85% and 87% of the state's area, and the state is second only to Nebraska and the percentage of land used for agricultural production. What do you think about this video? Please leave your comments below in the comments section to let us know. If you like watching big livestock farms or harvesting fields, check out our videos. Thank you, and see you in the next video.